Let's go ahead and move on now. Stage 6! Wow, that was a very butchered way of saying that. Stage 6, Speed Highway. So, we went from Twinkle Park to Speed Highway, just like that. This is another really cool level. Now, this one's got speed. Again, that nighttime visual. There's something about it that just catches my eye, and I adore it. It's just so freaking awesome and cool to look at. Oh, these enemies are tough. You gotta watch out for them. Because, uh... Oh, I forgot the birds do that. Uh, but yeah, those, uh... They kind of look like Sonic look-alike heads, but they have these spinning blades that keeps them afloat. You gotta watch out for those blades, because you can lose rings easily by bumping into it. Get the invincibility! No! I really wanted that sad face. Well, I think we do get another invincibility at some point. And the police are after us! Take that. We're wanted criminals now! Actually, not really. It, it is kind of strange that the police chase after you, though, on this level. It doesn't really make sense. But that's me just trying to put logic into a Sonic game, like, seriously. And every time you ring the bell, it does drop fewer and fewer rings. It starts at 5, then dwindles its way down to 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then it just rings. No pun intended. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, the controls were a bit, like, stiff there for a second, but I still made it through fine. Oh, I could have made that jump. Shoot. I'm like this when it comes to Sonic games. I always feel like I'm missing something by not taking the upper paths, so I try to aim for those as much as possible, but sometimes it just does not happen. And I don't know if the upper path is always the best way to go or not. Okay, what do we do? Grab... Oh, grab the helicopter, okay. What does that... i, I seen that, the lit up sign. I, I couldn't fully read what it said, though. I do know that we got super speed, although we almost just flew off the edge there. Crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh, and we fell. Or not, because I still made it. This is... Okay. Just, whoa! Like, rewind! I'm just flying through everything right now. Okay, get away from the cops. We don't have to deal with them. And I'm not even going to talk about my ring count, because if I do, I'm sure I will take a hit and lose them all immediately. Thus cursing myself and subjected to the Let's Play curse that is bound to ensue by talking about your playing skills. Cool. And... SCREAM! That part, I, I was waiting for that to happen, because I knew that would happen by just letting the music play on its own. How am I, like... Okay. I thought they could hurt you, but I guess not. Oh, but these parts can. Maybe? I still have my shield, though. Okay, maybe it just slows you down. I don't know. That, I guess that would affect you if you're doing the time missions, which I still need to consider if I'll be doing the extra missions to get all the emblems or not. Oh, and there we took damage. I knew it was bound to happen at some point. Oh, we got our shield back, though. Sweet! And it is now daytime. Uh, Knuckles has a stage that's here. I believe it only uh, takes place in the daytime parts of the stage, though, which is kind of sad, but... Oh well. Admire the nighttime while you can. Seriously, which way do I go? This way? Guess. Oh, you stupid son of a gun cop. Stop being so rude to Sonic! What did he ever do to you? I really don't want to be around them, though, when they're chasing after me. That was kind of flighty, those controls. Do we get on the fountain? I guess we do. Ring the bell. 
And the finish line is just right behind it. Break that capsule, Sonic. Seriously, this is like the first time we're actually breaking capsules as the finish line. Okay, I could just skip through yeah, all that. Level C completed. Now I never know like if level C means like a certain mission, I guess. I don't know. It it's just always seemed weird, like why is it called level C and not level A? That part I've never figured out over the years. Anyway, if we go over here and check up on the lady in here, she's finally made it inside the burger shop. Okay, I'm going in again. Now what? I managed to get this far, but now what? Hi, sir. No matter who's staring at me, I have to do my job. She just wants to talk to you, dude. That is like a little subplot, if you just follow that. Not really a subplot, just something a little extra the game threw in. Where if you keep following little side things, I guess that's why I call it a side plot. There's just things on the side where, like, that lady goes in to talk to the burger shop guy. Just little things like that that change over the course of the game. I am trying to look for Amy. Uh, the casino, maybe? Because when in doubt, let's go gambling. You never know. Yep, apparently so, oh, Sonic made it here. Where can she be? Whenever a cutscene triggers, you know you're doing the right thing. And yep, Zero One caught Amy. I'll cut him off at the Mystic Ruins. But the train station closed, remember? Or not, because apparently it's open. Okay, yeah, I guess the workers finally got off strike and the trains work again. Huh, that's weird. I thought it lasted longer than it did. Oh well. I'm not gonna complain if it gets me through the story. That works fine for me. Let me go, you hump and jump! I mean it! <laughs> yep, there's the whiny brat. You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! Why? Why do you want Amy back? <laughs> what potential do you see in her, Sonic? Actually, he truly doesn't. I guess he's just doing it to be a nice guy, really. Although, I'm pretty sure, just, the game did not hey, really explain this, here? but Amy does have, like, a side plot where she has a clue to one of the Chaos Emeralds, and I feel like the game just, like, skipped explaining that. Unless maybe it's just exclusive if you play, like, the Amy side story, or, or Amy story of the game or something, I don't know. But away they go. Sonic, just jump right in the tractor beam! It was right there! You could have went after them! You dumbass! Sonic! Come on, man! It was right there! You could have easily gotten into that ship by getting into the tractor beam! An excuse to keep the story driving, I guess. Get to the mountaintop. You still have time. Yes, we do. So, we gotta do another action stage. I guess I shouldn't complain, because the game is throwing another stage at us. But still, that was so cheesy how that was played out. She was in the tractor beam, along with Zero One, and you could have gotten to Dr. Ravonic. But no, you let them disappear anyway. What do you have to say? Did you see that flying battleship? That was cool! Wonder who made it. It flew off toward the mountains. I wonder if I should have followed it. Well, we are, because Sonic is too stupid to get on the thing. Oh wait, I think we need an upgrade to move on. I'm just so frustrated right now, because of how that story played out. Yeah, I figured the upgrade was right here. What is it this time? This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed Okay, attack. this lets us attack enemies that are either out of reach, or just along the way, and they're like in an obstacle that we can't normally overcome. If only that monkey Such as this monkey guard. Now if you let go, you can explode the cage with the monkey in it and enter the level. I don't know if that's the only time you actually are required to use that attack, but I don't always remember to use that. I seriously don't. But anyway, Red Mountain, the next action stage. Another cool level. All these levels are pretty cool, really. Because I don't know that I can really say there is a quote-unquote bad level, for Sonic at least. 
Now, when we do big stages, unfortunately, they do fall short, in my opinion. They're not that great. And it's sad, because I like fishing in real life. That, that part of the game could have had much better potential than it did. But we'll get into that later when I get to big. Right now, let's just listen to another cool song as we cross this red mountain. So awesome! Oh, that was really close. That bomb there almost hit us. Let's just keep making our way. Checkpoint. Oh, do they now? And just right around the corner here is the switch that opens up the rocket. Obviously, watch out for that spike. Like, I have to tell you that. Anything sharp and pointy, just generally avoid. Including Sonic. <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Okay. And I think those steam... geysers? Or, whoa, that was weird with the camera there. Got an extra life, though. But those steam vents that come out of the ground can hurt you as well. And, whoa, that was close. I hate that enemy. Okay... Let's make our way onto this slidey cable thing. I don't remember what those are called, actually, just slidey cable ant rails. I don't know what you call them, really. Okay, more rings. Sweet. Okay, so much magma. It's a sign that we're getting into something heated. Okay, oh. That's weird that the switch to that is just, like, right there. Seriously. One, two, three steps, and there's the switch. At least the first switch had effort to avoid spikes. That was just... Here, the game's gonna give up, so we'll just go ahead and give you the switch. Okay, homing attack. Those parts always scare me because it's so easy to mess up. Especially in later games. <coughs> Sonic and the Secret Rings. Again, don't ever play that game. The homing attack is so scary to use on those side story games. Even on the main games, it just kind of makes me cringe because I can't help but think of it. Okay, still making our way through. Weren't we supposed to catch up to a ship? Where'd it take off to? The egg carrier. Where'd you go? Oh, this time we have a switch. And we could just do that to get the energy to hit the switch for us. That's a little trick I remember. Oh, we missed an extra life. Oh well. Ah! Don't fall in the lava! Don't fall in the lava! We don't need graphical glitchiness to occur here. Please, not here of all places. Okay, good. Apparently talking can help give you confidence to get through those sections. Maybe. It varies by the player, but it worked for me. Whether it does for you or not, I can't guarantee. But we're going down. And we got another cool song to the next part of the level. Seriously, like, the atmosphere and the music to these places was just so well made. You can't not love these parts of the game. This is why I love Sonic Adventure, right here. It's the speed, it works. It's nice to look at, it's nice to listen to, it's not nice to fall into lava, but I don't care. As long as we survive, we're good. It is kind of disappointing, though. I had all those rings. Oh, wow. I don't know that I actually mentioned it before, but if you're wondering uh, what the rings are for, they actually do contribute to a total. Uh, they are used as currency on this game. You can use it at the Chow Garden to get different things, such as more Chow eggs, more accessories to give your chow, more fruit that you can buy for them, etc, etc. I might cover that in like a boner... Oh my god! <laughs> that really went in the wrong direction there! <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> I meant a bonus video, not a boner video! Oh god! It's, it's seriously, it's things like this where I just can't help but laugh because I can't control myself. It's so immature, but seriously, 
A bonus video. Okay, stop laughing. No more. I'm almost crying now because of it. Let's just listen to the cool song. That'll take our mind off things. Maybe. Alright. Like, okay, I gotta stop for a second. Who or what is locked in these cages? Like, right there, seriously. What is that supposed to be? Somebody tell me. Is it a mummy? Or is it just some delusionized robot? Lookalike of Robotniks. Someone explain, please. <laughs> anyway, moving on. And I love how, like, there's these graves that dance along with the music. It almost looks like it's shaking right along with the beat. Almost exact. Pretty cool aesthetic touches. Again, that's the beauty of this game. Okay, nice bundle of rings there. That's good. Okay, I just had to wait till they stopped. I was actually thinking, like, how exactly am I supposed to get by this? And it's like, oh yeah, just wait till they stop. Hammers! Oh god, and I was just talking about boners. As if that wasn't bad enough. <laughs> okay, enough of the perverted level. End it, Sonic. Bust that capsule. Thank you. Oh god. You might be getting two in one videos. Or two in one uh, action stages, because that went by really fast, actually. Yeah, not just bad. like Sonic himself. That's right, you get that emblem. And the ship is getting away, oh no. I just have to take a moment to compose myself after what happened on Red Mountain. <laughs> oh hey, it's Tails! And it looks like we got a new ship! Awesome! Oh, I have way too much fun recording this game. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like we're ready to roll. Hey, my name's Sonic, not Roger. <laughs> oh, that joke never gets old. And I know, it was terrible. Sky Chase Act 2, sub-game. This time it's for real, folks. It's pretty much identical to the first minigame, except... We have a new tornado ship, and there's more enemies. I was trying to get them all before unleashing my lasers! I didn't exactly do the best of job there. Oh well. uh, I'm not in it for 100% for this minigame, but I try. You can only get better and better each time you play it. Again, homing laser, pretty much similar to Star Fox. You just hold A to charge up your laser. Hold A to charge your laser, as a certain character I know would say. And unleash, and that is the best way you can take him out, because the regular laser is kind of inaccurate. Actually, it is very inaccurate. I do not recommend using it, if you can help it. Wow, there's a lot of things I'm targeting now. Okay, like, I don't know how I'm targeting everything, but that's good, because the less things that are shooting at me, the better. Okay, now we're taking damage. Watch what we're doing here. There we go. There we go. Exactly, Tails. Oh yeah, just trust the two-tailed fox who's only like six years old. He totally knows what he's doing. Yeah, just let him do that. That way he can grab you with this mechanical arm and turn it to... A Jetson vehicle. <laughs> Seriously, that sound effect it just made, that was totally a Jetson's aircraft. From the Jetsons, if anyone even remembers what that is. It's okay, I forgive you if you have no idea what show I'm talking about. But that sound effect was just so Jetson-ish in its feel. Or, that was a very awkward way of wording that sentence. But anyway, now that we got this George Jetson aircraft, <laughs> I don't know exactly what the point of this was. Like, 
do we get stronger attacks? Do we fly better? Like, why did we transform? Or is this just a montage for the Transformer series? I have no idea. I think we're about done. There's a lot more enemies we still gotta shoot after, though. Including the sides of the underbelly of the ship here, because there's lasers in all directions. I missed it. Did I just take more damage? If I did, it doesn't matter, because it looks like I'm about done. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, whoa, camera change. That's just odd. Yes, we can now take on the egg carrier itself. And it's gonna try to fire us with its laser yet again. But it missed. Doh, you missed! This thing's actually not that bad. As you can see, it's pretty much almost already down. Actually, it is down. I just defeated it. Never mind. JK. So, now that that's taken care of, I guess we can properly land on it now. And we get another emblem for doing a heroic deed. Adventure Field! So, yes, with that said, we are now on another main part of the Adventure Field map. We gotta land on the egg carrier. Oh, this part. Yeah, whoops. Terrific! So we just have to crash right onto the airstrip. Good job, Tails. Seriously, good job. Never trust a two-tailed fox wow, to make your aircraft for you. Really that is the moral of this lesson. No time to gawk now. We need to find Amy. Right when is Sonic friend. known to gawk? <laughs> Seriously. What was that? That face you just made, seriously.